Five, we are following progress in the state capitol this evening. After a week's long Senate walkout and then a delay because of an internet outage, amended House bills 2002 and 2005 passed through the Oregon legislature. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy is live in Salem tonight and tells us more about this internet outage that severely impacted today's proceedings at the capitol. Well, Pete and Riel, this internet outage affected multiple government agencies here in Salem and also impacted business being conducted here at the state capitol. Now, the Department of Administrative Services still doesn't know what caused this outage, but business could not continue on for at least two and a half hours. And when it did, both amendments passed on House Bill 2002 and 2005, and now those bills will head to the governor's desk for a signature. From the silence of dealing with an internet outage in the Oregon House chamber, to quickly getting back to work. Simultaneously related to implementation of new academic content standards. The chamber eventually convened Wednesday to pass House Bills 2002 and 2005 after weeks of being held up in the Senate because of a walkout. On June 15th, the Senate Rules Committee amended House Bill 2002A with the Dash B19 amendment, which is why the bill is before you today for concurrence. House Bill 2002, a bill protecting abortions in the state as well as gender affirming care, was amended to require parental consent for an abortion for minors under the age of 15. Even with the amendments, there was still pushback on passing the bill. I do not think it's necessary. I do not think it's well vetted. And I do not think we have enough support to move in this extreme of a fashion. Representative Travis Nelson, a chief sponsor, sent Fox 12 a statement after House Bill 2002 passed saying, quote, Democrats made a commitment to defend and safeguard the same rights and freedoms we had under Roe v. Wade after the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision. I'm proud to say we fulfilled that commitment and also made sure Oregon is a welcoming and safe state for the LGBTQ plus communities by expanding access to life-saving, gender-affirming care. Then there's House Bill 2005. Mr. Speaker, I move the House concur in the Senate amendments to House Bill 2005C and repass the bill. House Bill 2005, a gun control bill that bans ghost guns, was amended to remove raising the age to buy a gun from 18 to 21. One Democrat did voice his concern over the amendment. So I hope that none of us, and again I'm speaking for myself especially, live long enough for another shooting to take place where an 18 or 19 or 20 year old that otherwise could have been prevented from murdering people does that. The Democratic caucus sent me a statement saying, quote, this bill is an important step that will get guns out of the wrong hands and help law enforcement do their jobs, all while respecting the rights of responsible gun owners. Well, Pete and Riel, again, these bills do head to Governor Tina Kotek's desk to for a signature before they can become law. And when it comes to the rest of the, le of the legislative session, legislators have four more days to complete as much work as possible before that hard deadline of June 25th, which is this weekend. Reporting live in Salem, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.